Are you starting to play card games and want to make it work on webcam? This is your one-stop shop video. Use the timestamps down below to help navigate through the video. What you're gonna need for this is a webcam and a PC, preferably Windows. If you do have a different kind of computer, you have to figure out another way to set this up. This is a full setup video where you'll be able to record or even live stream your own games. Follow with me step by step. What we're first gonna do is open up all the links down in the description. I'll also have them in the comments for you. We'll want to at least have a version of WinRAR downloaded. This is so we can zip our files. So with that first link, you'll choose a 64-bit or 32-bit version. You're most likely gonna be the 64-bit, so you'll go ahead and download that. It'll go to download. You're gonna download WinRAR. It has some annoyware, but I wanna say it's completely legitimate. It's not some sort of virus. I'm gonna skip the download for that since I have already downloaded it. Next, what we're gonna to wanna to download is OBS. OBS, you'll go to download installer and it'll make a full install for you. You'll go to your downloads. From here, what you'll wanna do is just open that installer, run it fully. I am going to skip this part because I have already downloaded it, but you'll just run that full installer. The next step is actually going back to that same download for OBS and where it says download zip. This is so we can use a virtual camera to have two separate OBSs. Hit download zip. It's just going to download the zip file now. I'll want you to organize this a little bit easier. So go ahead and go to your desktop. You'll right click, go to new folder. Let's just call this OBS folder. From your downloads, Go ahead and drag and drop your OBS Studio 30.0.2. You're gonna put that in there. From here, this is where you have WinRAR for. You're going to right click on this and you're gonna say extract here. It'll go through that extraction. After you have that extracted, go ahead and go to bin. 64 bit, you're gonna scroll down where it says OBS 64. If it has this black icon, you know you're in the right spot. Go ahead and right click on that. We're gonna create a shortcut. And then we're gonna bring that shortcut down here. And then let's go ahead and rename this. We're gonna rename it OBS Virtual Camera. We're gonna right click on this icon. Go ahead and go to Properties. Now you see you're in shortcut. After the exclamation point, you're going to add one space, two dashes, which is like the minus sign, and the word portable, no space. Then hit apply, then hit okay. The next step is actually to download OBS Virtual Camera. You're gonna go down to the link below where it says OBS Virtual Camera and it'll pull up this page. You'll go to download. You'll go through this download step as well. And it's like an installer. Go ahead and go through that. I'm skipping this part of the video because I've already done that. From here, what you wanna do is you wanna have both your OBS Studio, the one you originally downloaded, the installer, and then this OBS virtual camera. You want to have these side by side. What you're gonna to wanna to do is I recommend right clicking on the OBS virtual camera and you're gonna run as administrator. I do recommend whenever you're running OBS to run as administrator. It makes things a lot easier. When you reach this screen, it's gonna ask you to auto configure what you're using this for. For this one specifically, go ahead and say you're gonna be using this as just a virtual camera and then you'll apply some settings. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open up your OBS Studio as well. But 
we'll actually go through with this first. What we're gonna do next is actually customize your source and we're gonna add your webcam. Go ahead and hit plus on the sources down here. And we're gonna go to video capture device. We'll call this webcam. And I already have another webcam here that you're gonna see. I'm going to also go down to resolution, go to custom. I suggest just doing a custom resolution of 1920 by 1080. It's up to you. I'm gonna make it a little bit lower resolution just for this video. And then right click the source, transform, fit to screen. It should fit to the screen automatically. So that's already great. From here, what you're gonna do is actually start your virtual webcam. So I can't start it on here because I already have it running on my other side, but you'll start your virtual webcam. This virtual webcam allows it so you can have one webcam set up for your Discord and maybe one for your face cam and allows it so your opponent only sees your webcam. In Discord, now what we're gonna have to do is go to user settings. And then we're gonna have to go to voice and video. From voice and video, you're gonna scroll down until you can find here. You will set this up to OBS virtual camera. I already have it set up here. And you're gonna hit test video. It should show whatever's set up as your virtual camera. Right now, this should be it, but I don't have it set up because I'm using it to record. But set it up as that. So when you're playing, it'll show this. Go ahead and hit OBS studio. and You're gonna start setting this up. I'm gonna work with you on how to set up this specifically for a card game. And I'm gonna do it mostly from this as well. So go ahead and hit plus on this. We're gonna make a new scene. We're gonna call it webcam card game. Hit plus here again. You're gonna to go to video capture device. You can just include the webcam. Generally here, which actually you might wanna call it is video capture device um, OBS virtual webcam. And we already have this set up here with my webcam. I just angled it downwards. Next, we're gonna to have to find an opponent and see what we can do. Let's just go ahead and see if you can ask a friend, hey, is it possible that I can watch your game and see what things at? For example, there's this person here and they're webcammed. I'm gonna actually gonna to go to this one. I'm gonna mute myself right away. And I'm gonna pull this up. You wanna hit the pop out on here. You hit that pop out so it shows up and then you're gonna click on specifically them. So you're able to see specifically them. What we're gonna do is go back to our webcam here, our, our OBS, we're gonna hit plus. We're gonna actually do a display capture. We're gonna go to, we're gonna say monitor one. So if you have two monitors, that's fine, but you can do this with one monitor. And it does automatically, it wants me to choose this monitor. So we'll choose this monitor and we're on here. From here, what we're gonna do is actually just zone these in. So you see where my opponent's here? I'm actually gonna zone in. Uh, you wanna hold Alt while clicking on these right, these sides here. So you can bring these in a little bit easier. Right there, yeah. So I'm gonna put this over to the side for now. But so you can see that he's just playing his game. And then let's just try to make this a little more even. You'll just adjust both mine and his based on that. And so you can see mine and his. If you want to, you can add more webcams so you can see your face or maybe even your hand, whatever you, whatever's clever, right? Again, you can adjust these pretty evenly by using the alt. So let's say I want to see less of his hand, but more of everything else. You'll just go here. Same thing with mine. Let's say you want to see less of my hand here, but more of the field, you can do that. And it makes it a little bit bigger. So you can do a lot of customizable things here. And then I guess the most important thing, how is your opponent going to know that you're playing this? So essentially what you're going to want to do is on here, you'll have that all set up and then go to turn on camera. That'll show your webcam and that'll show exactly whatever is on your virtual camera. Just to kind of go over what we did, we downloaded WinRAR. We downloaded OBS. We downloaded OBS virtual camera. We downloaded OBS through a zip file and then changed some of the properties on there to make it your virtual camera. That's the one you're mostly gonna be using. We set up Discord 
So you can use that as your virtual camera. And then you did also set up on your main OBS how to do everything else on there. Now on that, when you're doing your games, you can either live stream or record that. From there, you'll hit, you can hit on your settings and then go through any of these options of settings. I'm not gonna walk you through every single one, but essentially you probably want it to go to a nice folder where you know you can remember that and it can really protect you in the long run. You can add anything else you want on here. This isn't a full guide of how OBS works and how to live stream one piece, but at least I wanna give you a general beginner guide of doing setups. The next thing I'm gonna do is show you guys a proper setup for playing card games against your opponent for tournaments and some good practices as well. First thing we'll wanna do, we'll wanna grab your webcam and tilt it down so your opponent can see your field. So we'll just get that tilted down. What your opponent wants to see is your entire board. So you'll wanna have your play mat where you can see your entire board when you're playing any cards. And then on top of that, you want to have it so your opponent can see your entire hand where your hand can't go off of screen. What you'll want to do next is just set up your board how it would normally be. Maybe playing some cards out, whatever that might look like. Just take a nice look at it and make sure you have enough light going places. Or maybe you have too much light and you want to get that fixed. So with that, just kind of go through this. Maybe play a few cards out to see what they look like and certain light. I actually usually have a glare issue, especially around this area. So you may even put things below your card, like little dice or little magnets, little trinkets and stuff to put them up here just to have them out. So there's no issue. But with that too, I'd also consider just having a few dice out as well. And the main thing is it just helps when your opponent tries to do something to your card, you can put it as an action. Again, all we're trying to do is make sure this is functional for you and your opponent so they can see and play against you. We're gonna come back for, up for this one. So the main thing I'd recommend as well for online webcam tournaments, is especially just plan out your whole day. A lot of times these tournaments are gonna to take all day long and you may have problems. I, I do wanna say a first problem a lot of people do have is their internet. Make sure you maybe test it out, maybe doing webcams for a few hours and you don't have internet issues because usually if your screen goes offline or internet goes offline for a moment, it causes issues with cheating. So they just declare it as a loss. Next thing I want to say is just protect yourself. A lot of opponents may cheat. So just kind of be aware of what's going on and definitely have a game recorded so you can review it after if you are suspicious of any foul play. And I think that's essentially it for this video. I want to say thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments down below and I'll try to answer those the best I can. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video. Ciao. Kick fillet TCG.